can't just speak about the one or the other, uh, but we can never, ever justify what we do to minors in this country by saying that South Africans are pain. We can't do that. We can't justify it. But at the same time, we must also talk about, and I think what the National Action Plan is doing is looking at the wider causes and solutions, but we can never justify. And so I think uh, of all the things I want to say, I should stick to my field speciality, which is law. <laughs> and the Constitution, which tells us that there are legitimate aims in government, and there are things that governments are allowed to do. We talk of, often we talk about um, uh, managing a migration. Uh, the professor was talking about that this morning. Always this thing about there's a legitimate aim, we need to manage migration, we need to apply the law. But the Constitution tells us that we always have to do that in a way that is in line with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. So when we talk about xenophobia and migration, we have to say, yes, there is a legitimate aim, but the way we do it must be constitutional. Because often when we do things that are unconstitutional, we say, but we have a legitimate aim. We do need to manage migration. So but in our minds, whenever we talk about this issue, I think the first thing we do is what the Constitution tells us, yes, we can do the rights, uh, yes, we can have governmental aims uh, that are legitimate, but always, always, always in line with the Constitution. And when we do that, it doesn't matter what color you are, that's what we've learned from our history, right? What nationality you are, what gender you are. So we need to keep that in mind when we talk about these things. And um, what I want to uh, focus on today, my project at Lloyd's Human Rights is specifically about um, uh, access to nationality. Okay, and but I also work in the refugee clinic, and so when I when people talk about these issues of the backlog in the system and the difficulty of accessing documentation for everybody, South Africans with IDs, birth certificates, children with birth certificates, refugees, asylum seekers, we all have these issues. And like the professor said, not because our law is bad, because it isn't. Our law is good, and the implementation that we're talking about, I want to tell you today, my dear friends, is about administrative justice, which is also a constitutional right. And how does a normal South African migrant, stateless person in South Africa, access um, good administrative decisions? The government, of course, has to provide, when they make decisions about your status, about your document, about your birth certificate, about your rights in the country, it always, the Constitution tells us, has to be with good reasons. It always has to tell you the decision that it's made and give you the opportunity to uh, appeal that. Okay. And that is, I think, what we are missing in this system. So of all the things I want to say, I want to leave you with this idea that uh, when people um, have human rights abuses in South Africa, they can normally solve it with a lawyer, right? And it can give them access to justice and the law will help you. But nobody can afford it. And when they can't afford it, they come to lawyers for human rights. And then we are like 10 uh, crazy lawyers in the office down the street here because we have too many clients and we can't help everybody. And it's just, I'm sure government feels the same. So what we need to do, I think, is to, for, to protect uh, migrants and, and South Africans in this country, is to, to rethink uh, this idea of having an ombudsman for anything to do with our affairs. Why? Because it affects every single person in the country. Every single person in this country has a birth certificate, has to have a birth certificate, or an ID, or a death certificate, or whatever. And so every person in this country will come into contact with our affairs at some point and they have no recourse if they're being denied rights unless they have money. And an ID document or a status document is the single, single thing that allows you access to dignity and socioeconomic rights and civil and political rights. It should, in my humble opinion, but also correct opinion, no, I'm joking, <laughs> I'm really just joking, that uh, we need to make it available. Access to justice in terms of home affairs. It needs an ombudsman, is my suggest suggestion, or we need to prioritize it with a legal aid, but every single person should be able to have um, access to administrative justice for, from an independent body who can help them, which doesn't cost them money. 